Did you change? What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. Today, we are back for another episode of the live-action One Piece series, and this time we are catching episode 5, Eat at Baratier. And it's time for the goat. It's time for the goat to finally appear. That's right, Sanji's here, baby. Let's go, Nick. Are you ready? I'm ready for a cool character, one of many. Uh, no, the coolest. We're starting episode 5 of One Piece right now. We left off on a pretty big cliffhanger. Yes. Oh, we're just jumping right into the action. Just call I that guy Grandpa. That. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't do that stupid thing where they like just recreate several seconds or minutes from it for no yeah. reason. Who is the orange? Oh. And then prepare to board. I like this. How do you expect to be a marine when you're wasting your time on this nonsense? Oh. I don't want to be a marine. Oh. I'm a pirate. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Well, this was the first dream he ever destroyed, if not others before. Yeah, you're right. Your training begins today. <gasps> oh God. First. You go. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's his grandpa. <laughs> yeah. They also have the fame, same fashion sense. Hit the deck! Oh. Aw, oh, man. They just got the ship. Not ah, cool. What's up? Fire my cat down! Or how about we sail away as fast as we can? <laughs> <laughs> how about both, actually? Let me trim the, the sail thing. Let's see. <laughs> the thousands of them. Uh... This must be a different model than I'm used to. <laughs> Yikes. Usopp, load the cannon in the barrel, light the fuse, then get the hell out of the way. Oh, oh my god. Man. What the? Dude, just grab one of them. Oh, this is so cringe. Yikes. Oh, man. Well, someone at least get one of them. Jeez. I want these pirates taken alive. Hmm. <laughs> These poor snails. <laughs> Lower your sails and submit to my authority. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, he means business. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Well, now that's better than any That's cannon. dope. Okay, this see this is more like kind of garp that I'm used to. <laughs> oh, not bad, boy. <laughs> they all think he's just completely <laughs> insane. <Yep. laughs> I love how he's celebrating and he did literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> They're children. I mean, to be fair, they are technically supposed to be children. Yeah. That was a good scene. It's, it shows that the Straw Hats still have a long way to go oh, yeah. to become a crew. But when, once they all come together, once the main component of the team gets there. Oh, oh! Chef Zeph! Oh, I called man. it. You actually did. I have to attest to I that. I called it. You, you, did, you did it. Because this is a story about fathers and sons. And Zeph is Sanji's surrogate papa. Well, somebody needs to talk to him about this and that other thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do they have to talk about the other thing? You're his first mate. Kind of seems like that falls under your job description. Huh? Technically, that wasn't established, or we just didn't see it. Uh, yeah. I so mean, we're playing fast and loose. It's okay. I was going to say, I mean, all things is aired, that is basically what he is. Let's though. just assume it happened off camera. Also, they're like besties. Come on. I mean, they really are. Smell what? There's something on the breeze. It smells like butter. Oh wow, he's got a he's got quite the nasal palate. And meat. <laughs> nice. Did he just stare down the barrel for that one? Three degrees back to port. Add food to the equation, and suddenly he knows how to navigate. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Ratier. 
is not a Baratier, it's the Baratier. Look at her, she's oh, gorgeous. They did such a great job with that design. Oh my God, outdoor dining, a VIP section. Damn, Zeph knows how to do it. I was gonna say like the scope of this also feels really large. Yes. Cause I mean, it's it's essentially an island at this point. I like a little marina, if anything. Whoa, it's Whoa. a fisherman as the maitre d'. The Beratier. how can I help you? Hi. Oh, he looks awesome. Makeup is great. It's three weeks out. Jeez. Oh, no. Maybe you wanna check your book again. You wouldn't wanna turn away the I also like how they all had different ideas of how to dress up for this. Yep. You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. <laughs> That's very Nami of her to say. That's also very realistic. Yep. Even in the real world. Wait. He just crawls. Yep. <laughs> 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 I love oh, that. That's a good gag. That's a great goof. I wonder what kind of food they have here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, tuna. Perfect sear. Perfect. Oh, there, there he is. is. There he is, baby. Wow, he looks really familiar. Or should I say, there I am. Patty, I wouldn't expect you to understand. You want to take this outside? Man, Patty looks good too. Because I've kind of had my eye on that blunder table eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Like I mean, I would eat that. Are you kidding me? Looks gorgeous. <laughs> Is that sound? Yeah. Well, I'll call it crap. Oh. I gotta sling one more prime rib medium well, I am going to drop dead of boredom. Ew, medium well. In mm. fact, you are off the line. Now get out of white tables. Ugh. Oh. They nailed that. They nailed their dynamic perfectly. I know. Close to the kitchen so I can smell the beef. Maybe I ought to try a table outside. Cause right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's Mr. Fancy Pants. I'll have that drink. After he apologizes for his bad manners. Over my dead body. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh. Oh, I love how he saved the food. That's why he uses his legs. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our shitty restaurant with the <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, madam, I didn't see you there. Would you care for an aperitif to start? We have- Nice. <laughs> you, you know, something sweet for someone sweet. Ooh. Something wrong with your eye. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Beer and something for my friends. Two beers. I usually have three, but- And the milk. <laughs> <laughs> Regular water in a regular glass. Thanks. Right away. <laughs> oh, that was oh, great. Oh, Sanji, you salty dog. Forgive my rude behavior, madam. Would madam prefer her water in a crystal <laughs> glass or would a golden bowl be more madam style? Nami. I love that snark. <laughs> you will become best friends with him, Zoro. It's your destiny. Or best buddies, <laughs> possibly. Definitely best buddies. <laughs> the bestest of pals. If we delay, we might lose track of Luffy entirely. No SOS calls. We'll handle this problem on our own. Hmm. Ooh. You know Kobe's gotta be wondering what yes. the heck is up. Definitely, he's not stupid. Oh. Mihawk, did I catch you? Oh! Oh! oh. It's That's time. <laughs> 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 One moment. Oh! <laughs> A Wilhelm scream. Oh, oh, it is Don Krieg! Oh, I know you kept wondering if he was even going to, to appear. This is how they're going to use him, because he's not going to be a Bratia. Also, have you noticed the bounties have very, like, only by a million, ex like, incrementally increased? Yes. Except his, because he's a warlord. He doesn't, he doesn't have one. Yes. <laughs> oh! Oh, the detail on that was so good. 
Yo, um, this Mihawk is the man. I will say, like, because the stuff he's doing is so absurd, it looks a little bit more cartoony, but it works. And he's so <laughs> bored. He's just so bored with everything. I know. Well, there goes Don Krieg. Bring him alive by any means necessary. I can't wait to see his little, like, chair ship. Yes. To the best crew sailing on the sea and to our victory! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> thank you, my good man. Wait, what did he write? <laughs> no, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Sanji, what a... This crew, our crew, can handle anything. Who the hell is Monkey D. Luffy? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're confused. The meal has already been paid for. I just haven't given you the money yet. Hmm. What? Interesting concept. I'm gonna come back here, pay this bill in full, and with interest. I'll go better right idea. This is actually a great way to get him to have to start yes. working. Yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> Oh, Zoro, you he's, functioning alcoholic. He's so saucy this episode. I yeah. love it. Aw, that's a nice little moment. You're right. Damn, Brate's got a <laughs> lounge. Ugh, this is so cool. I want to, I, I, like, can we do, can they do Brate pop-up bars? Please. I would love to go to one. I don't even think there's any liquor in this. It tastes just like candy. Last time I said that, I woke up face down. That's a dangerous way to That's look at That's a dangerous game alcohol. to play, Usopp. What's a vice admiral gonna do to us? No, you don't get it. I can't get caught, not when I'm so close. Hmm. This is so good. Yes. So wait, I was, I was gonna ask, like, whatever treasure they have on the ship, can they not use some of that? Yeah, but she, remember, she doesn't want it. She's saving. I know, but like, Luffy is so dumb to not have think, thought Very of that. Very dumb, but he's Luffy. No, just me. Oh. Well, I'm a slip 22. Be ready to sail at dawn. Well, at least she doesn't take the going merry. Yeah, we think. We'll see what well, happens. Well, we think. Uh, we'll see. I know I'm going to regret this, but what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to regret showing compassion. For another person. Yep. Why would the Marines need to work with pirates? To do the things they didn't want tied back to them. In exchange, mm. they were given free reign. To do pirate stuff. Pirate stuff. Illegal pirates. Or whatever the hell they wanted, basically. Yes, exactly. I was guessing, I appreciate that Helmeppo's not a complete buffoon. Yes. I just think that now that he's away from his father, he can finally develop as a person. And actually thrive. Yeah. Hey, Joe boy, how's that dish pile coming along? <laughs> <laughs> so, you love mm -hmm. to cook. You just don't want to cook here. Oh, he's, he's about to light that lollipop. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Rare seaweed spices that have never been tasted. It's a cook's paradise. And. Man, I would love that. Just every fish in the world in one place. You look like someone who would love that. Don't let some stubborn old man get in the way of your dream. Oh, oh he relates. Yeah. It's more complicated than that. I don't really do complicated either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know that. You don't say. Oh. 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 His outfit is pitch perfect. It's spot on. We can't be giving handouts to every down on his luck pirate that washes up. If a man is hungry, I feed him. Oh, so he's not doing the paella this time. No. Something <laughs> a little more weird, a little more nonsensical. And this man. is something I could actually eat. Corned beef fried rice sounds delicious. Oh my god, look at the scallions uh, on that. Perfectly chopped. Babish, do this at some point, please. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> you should join my crew. <laughs> and we're gonna need a great cook if we're gonna find the One Piece. The One Piece. Oh no. <laughs> the Grand Line was his undoing. We lost 50 ships and 5,000 men. Jeez. I guess something about you, you drink. 
you got something about me, I drink. He's probably just gonna say yes to everything. Zoro's tolerance <laughs> is redonkulous. I'll bet you didn't have any friends as a kid. I had friends. Swords don't count. <laughs> drink. Drink. <laughs> Zoro's like, I, I didn't even want to play this game. I just, I just wanted, wanted to drink. <laughs> He's also eating meat on the bone like Luffy. Well, meat on a bone, not the meat on a bone. <laughs> I'm almost on here. Oh my God, he had like five prime ribs. I love it. Five quarter house. Ninja call me Hawk after Luffy. That's a nasty habit, listening to doorways. I heard what I heard, sir. Ooh. Mm. I signed an oath to protect people, to treat everyone equally under the law. And if that's not the case, maybe I'm not meant to be a Marine. Love the sound design. How when during that tench exchange, all you heard was the creaking and stretching of the wood on the ship. Mm -hmm. The same set of laws do not apply to everyone. But that's not fair. No, it's not. But you have to decide if you can live with that. I mean, that's very true yep. in all facets of life. But I always turn down the promotion. Do you know why? Oh wow, they're addressing this. Because already I have to do things their way. Oh. Yeah. He's no government stooge. He also just probably likes busting skulls. Oh, 100%. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Marie's dead in the water. Oh. oh! You're the captain. Well, technically, oh no. But <laughs> I did this. Oh, no. He's talking too much. I should very much like to meet this Luffy. Man. <laughs> this Mihawk has so much swag. It's ridiculous. I've been following your career since I was a child. It's an honor to finally meet you, sir. Thank you. How drunk is he Which right is now? Which pains me. A to little bit. inform you that tomorrow, we're going to die. Wait, what? What? Oh my god. Zoro, challenge you to a duel to the death. My god, this Zoro is insanely arrogant. Yeah. The alcohol doesn't help. What the hell did you just do? That's a good question. He is so single-mindedly obsessed. <sighs> Absolutely, but that's very Zoro yeah. to be very single. He's always been single-minded. This starving pirate washed up earlier, and you know what Sanji did? He cooked for him, right here in your kitchen. <laughs> that's not helping <laughs> Maybe this isn't such a great idea, Zoro. Wow, Ooh. the most practical thing he's ever said. Will you please do something? It's extreme, Nami. Oh, Luffy. Uh, if you fight him tomorrow, you're going to lose. Why do you even give a shit? Because you're my friend, you idiot. Aww. You said it yourself, you don't have any friends. Mm. I love their dynamic. It so feels good. so fleshed out. And natural, very natural. And everyone's characters have stayed so consistent. Like, she's trying so hard to be practical. Well, I think out of the four of them, they both of them have the most in common. Yeah. And then they're most mature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Of course. But we knew that. I know, but doesn't mean I have to like it. But that's the thing. It's like, I love how invested she is, even though she's about to leave. Yeah. Unless she's trying to do that to throw them off. Which either, I think, can be true. No, I think she actually cares because we've seen her break. Like mm -hmm. when when all of them were like making fun of her for Sanji flirting with her. Yeah. Like she's starting to see them as friends. That's fair. Like, like, like remember when we saw her laugh at the end of last episode? Right. Oh, I wonder if like Zoro is now going to feel betrayed that she's gone. No, remember he forsakes her in the anime. Right. It's like she made her choice. I'm just excited to see it play out. And I like this because it's not like just so spur of the moment. Yes. Like it was calculated, even though he was probably drunk when he did it. Yes. Oh, I do like your hat. Enough. Oh, nice. Hat respect. <laughs> I understand that. Man, I love his theme. The only thing is, I still wish we could see his chair. Oh, the oh. pocket knife! I don't hunt rabbits with a cannon. Oh. 
Shit, man. I love the swagger on this Mihawk. Oh. Damn. Hardly. Oh, shit. Jesus, the taunting, too. Oh, yeah, he sees him as a joke. So I'll do you the honor of killing you with Yoru. Oh. oh. Time for Santoru. Shit! Grow strong and come oh. find me. I'll be waiting. Damn. What a savage. Oh, I know. I'll never lose again! Oh. Saro! Oh, oh my, my god! god. Wow! What a way to end that episode. Oh, oh my god. If they, if they cut the Don Krieg stuff just to make that longer and just to make it that much more weighty, I'm glad they cut Don Krieg out because that had so much more impact. Like, again, the anime is was super impactful. It's a super big moment for Zoro. Mm -hmm. But, like, with the Nami stuff in the beginning and seeing them both come together and then... Her coming back at the end and all the stuff with Luffy and and it's how this whole season has been them building this crew off of finding your dreams and believing chasing your dreams and the and he tells uh, Zoro you gotta do it you gotta follow your dreams and it, because of that even though he knew it was a bad idea Zoro is on the brink of death. Mm. I'm just speechless. I mean, let, let's just get this out of the way. Best episode so far for being one of the shorter episodes. This definitely packed a wallop. This, like, I think has, like, for being as short as it is, this was so impactful, like, from each frame. I yes. think they executed all these storylines so perfectly and in just the right amounts to develop character and go from everyone, like, just the perfect amount. And, like, like I said earlier, everyone is so true to the characters that we know so far, but we still are gaining more and more from all of them. In addition to introducing new ones. Yes, it's it's incredible. Like, I don't know, whoever cast this show deserves a raise. Please give them a raise because this uh, Dracula Mihawk is such an improvement off of the generic, stoic, silent <laughs> badass that he is in the anime. Like, the, he has so much swag and flair and I really love that they're kind of taking the influences from the anime and building mm -hmm. the live action version off of that. Like he looks kind of like a Spanish conquistador. <laughs> um, so they give him really the Spanish guitar yeah. and this really interesting theme music. Mm -hmm. And on top of all of that, the actor gives him this little strut, this little swagger about him, almost like he's a, like a rock star. Right. Which again, Mihawk is, a, is in the world of pirates. A rock star. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Well, that's what I like so much. And I don't know if it's just the medium of live action compared to the anime. I just like these little bits of personality that just burst from the actor's own charisma in their own ways. Yeah. Like like I said, I think even Zoro, like McKenyu had a little more sauciness to him than normal. M Mihawk was just such a delight watching in this. Like everyone just has like these little nuances they add and it just makes their characters even better. Yeah, I think Zoro, the reason why he's a little bit more saucy is he's a little less guarded. Yeah. Now, he's starting to open himself up to these people, and he's starting to view them as friends. Mm -hmm. So instead of just being, like, the guy who talks like this and throws out a one-liner every once in a while, he's, like, <laughs> giving a little jab. He's a little, he's a little saucy guy like he was in the anime. Like, like, the, like he's becoming the Zoro that we know and love. Mm-hmm.
Uh, speaking of characters that we know and love, Sanji, nailed, they nailed it. Taz, you did me <laughs> proud, brother. This is... Wait, wait, who's Taz? I thought that was you. Oh, sorry. You're right. I played myself in this episode. <laughs> um, Taz, you did great. You really nailed this, this like, I don't want to say juvenile, this young man's frustration with his place in the world mm -hmm. and Sanji's frustration to really be a, be a food artist and Zeph's frustration <laughs> with Sanji because he wants to teach Sanji discipline. He wants to teach Sanji how to do, how order and not to just do all the things he wants to do, but do the things that need to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, Ritz, I love Zeph too. The actor yeah. who plays Zeph is really great too. And we, we start to see him, the shades behind the really just drill sergeant mentality when Luffy says like, oh, so there was a, a guy who came in here who was hungry and Sanji fed him. Uh, and he's like, he did that? Well, good boy. <laughs> uh, but, but that's what I also love is I love that moment between Sanji and Luffy just kind of talking out their dreams because they showed the, this very clear parallel between the two of them. Yes. But what's so great about the characters is they're all kind of united by this similar passion they have. But... Each character is written and act, and each actor portrays it so differently, though. And I think that's what makes the show so easy to connect with is that it has such a wide variety and nuance of characters in it. Yeah. And another great piece that they did was they told us more about Luffy and Garp's relationship <laughs> by Luffy compassionately relating to Sanji's situation. Yeah, absolutely. Which is really nice because you're giving us both of the a little bit about both both characters' backstories mm -hmm. by having that connection shared between the two of them. Absolutely, and again, it's I I just love like the way they keep building on every single character. Like I said, I love how they just show how overly practical Nami was being, and yes. just the face of all their Id all their idiocy. Um, I love the stuff we got with Garp, Kobe, and Helmeppo a lot. It wasn't that yeah. much, but it was it was perfect. It's what we needed. We're starting to see progression from everyone. This episode does a really good job of of showing us the growth of every character. Helmeppo, Kobe, Nami especially. Like I yeah. really love the slow transition of Nami to how like aggressively guarded she is when we first meet her, to the point where she, in episode two she straight up leaves them the mm -hmm. first chance she gets. To now, like, the the ending of last episode, she starts to laugh with them. Yeah. She lets her guard down enough to be the first one to laugh. <laughs> uh, in this episode, she gives a little smile when they're all uh, chastising her about Sanji's little crush on her. <laughs> and then, obviously, the big one is she comes back. Yeah. She, she kind of turns her back on her mission mm -hmm. uh, and giving Arlong the map to the Grand Line to be there for Zoro. Right. Because she views Zoro as a friend now and the whole crew as a friend. Absolutely. Now, granted... We don't know exactly what's going to happen next, but that's what I love so much about the show is yeah. we don't know how anything is going to happen. But I, I think we're at a point, we're over halfway done, where I have faith in these writers and how they're going to go forward. We're at a point, these writers have done something to... Where episode one, I was cautiously optimistic about the series. In each episode, I've become progressively more excited because I'm seeing them make swerves with the story. Like, I thought this was going to be... A pretty close retelling and for the most part it is they're hitting similar beats but it's really the the curveballs they're throwing and the changes oh, yeah. they're making that are what excites me the most because it's a not as only uh, not only is it an updated spin on a very on a two decade old story at this point mm -hmm. but i think it narratively flows a lot better because we're looking at it as one season of television yeah as I opposed to an ever continuing manga Right, and I think they're making the cuts like we keep we keep saying this. We can't say enough. They're making such great choices. Like for example, pink hair guy's name I can't remember. They dwell on him for kind Patty? of like, yeah. They dwell on him for a while in the anime when he and his date are coming up. Oh no, no, that's not Patty. That, I didn't think I, it was. I can't remember. Uh, isn't his like a diamond fist or something or so, something along so diamond knuckle or something? But, but regardless, anyway. the d bag, pink hair d bag. Oh, he's a huge d bag and. He's like prolonged for so long to set up Sanji, yeah. but I think Sanji's setup involving him and the other guy that they're fine with is so great because it allow he's it plays out similarly, but it just also gives Sanji it serves in service of Sanji, which is the most important thing of that scene. Yeah, of course, because in an animated medium, you kind of need time to set up characters because it's not three dimensional, so you don't get everything you need in such a small amount of time the way you do in live action. So I think just him like getting into a fight with that pirate. And you just get right away, oh, that's a dude, bro. And he's there with his date. Uh, 
They're both dressed to the nines. Like, uh-huh. he thinks who the hell he is. We don't need that big, like, three-minute-long uh, monologue of him. Like, I'm the I'm the coolest. I'm yeah. the best. So I think you get everything you need to know. It's very streamlined. Perfect. I love that they include him. I love, like, all of the inclusions they have. Like, they have Don Krieg's, Don Krieg's crew. Mm-hmm. They have Don Krieg in there. So you can't say that they skipped him. No. He is there. Um, their, their armada is destroyed like by Mihawk, like it is in the anime and the manga. The only difference is he doesn't survive this time like he does. Uh, so Mihawk's the one to kill him, mm-hmm. as opposed to him just getting wrecked by, uh, by your boy Straw Hat Luffy. I know. And, like, even, it's so, it's so much simpler, and obviously it was for practical reasons, but even the way they got Luffy to be indebted to the Baratier is so much better. Yes. Because it's so in character for him. That he would be that freaking stupid. And it, let, and it makes Zeph look less, like, just unreasonable yeah. and aggressively mean. And it makes him just look like your normal restaurant owner. Like, oh, yeah. you think you're going to come into my restaurant and eat for free? Go do the dishes. <laughs> like, it makes more sense. It's it, it, Story-wise, it makes more sense. Right. And I'm glad they also didn't cut that entirely because I was wondering if they were. Yeah. No, I think you need that because you need moment. You need time for Luffy to be alone with Sanji. Mm-hmm. because that's what Luffy's greatest power is, his ability to connect with people I know. over their dreams. Uh, and uh, that scene with the tuna, oh my gosh, that was like such a nice little touch to me. Absolutely. It shows, it right in that one scene between Sanji and Zeph, we got everything we need to know about the both of them for the time being without yes. revealing too much. We And just the way they shot the food, the way they shot the cooking scenes, very delightfully wonderful and colorful and beautiful mm-hmm. everything you can hope for when shooting sanji and one of his wonderful creations in the kitchen so well done Ugh. i have to continue to give a shout out to the score of this series oh my god yes because i don't know if you picked up on this but not only did we get like the spanish guitar with mihawk and the and the spanish influence in his music but then we got some jazz influence on sanji some like smoother saxophone notes oh yeah um so i love how each character really kind of has a vibe to it, especially characters yeah. that have a vibe to them uniquely. Like Sanji's, like the cigarette smoking, very smooth. Wait, don't you mean lollipops? Oh, you're right, sorry. He smokes lollipops. Uh, There's a lollipop licking, <laughs> uh, very smooth operator, uh, classically trained in the French techniques of cooking. Mm. And so they give him this very smooth, smooth music mm-hmm. to kind of vibe with. And I really love it. I think the score is one of the stars of the series, just as much as every actor. Yeah. And the, like I just think, like I said, I think everyone involved with this project just put a lot of passion and thought into everything. I was gonna say like, and never mind the design of the Baratier, like, which is gorgeous. And it, and I know a lot of it is practical. It's like even if any of that is CG, it's like I I'm not thinking about it. I'm yeah. like everything everything was a clear choice in how mm-hmm. they went about everything and like. The way they even expand upon it, like the outdoor like lounge area, that's so the bar, that's like so the cool. nightclub, like the little lounge. And it's so smart because it allows them to have a more extensive setting yes. without going a million places, because that could get tiresome really quickly. Yeah, it's beautiful because the bratier you could slice up like, in terms of filming, not actually, <laughs> like you could you could slice it up as a filmmaker and and have five different sets to work with for yeah. this episode. All in one location. Right. And, it doesn't, and I think that's so smart, too. And, and it doesn't get boring. I was going to say, it's not exhaustive, but it's not it's not stale. Every location in Bratier is, co- is completely unique and visually stunning. Mm-hmm. Between the dining room, the main dining room, the outdoor lounge with its neon color. Looks like your typical nightclub type scene. Very yeah. sophisticated lounge nightclub. Uh, the outside, the dock area, which... Oh, like the Zoro and Mihawk have their legendary showdown in, mm-hmm. and the kitchen, which is very, which is very kitchen esque. Yeah. Uh, very stainless steel, practical, wonderful. Love it. It's it's very neat and organized compared to everything else, which feels very artistic and free flowing. Mm-hmm. Gotta gotta love it all. Love the show so Lo- much, and I th- surprisingly, this end. Like I thought this was gonna be. I thought Sanji was gonna have two big episodes, but this was surprisingly a pretty big episode for Zoro. Yeah, and it's which is so weird because that was literally our biggest complaint about the last episode. But and on the one hand, it's it's unusual, but I kind of like that we're still being thrown off and we're yeah. not expecting all of this. I and, mean, I and think, he was due for it. Yeah, absolutely. Because what they did in this version is they made Zoro, they made turn Zoro's single sidedness 
his tunnel vision into arrogance. Mm -hmm. Like this Zoro is was extremely arrogant from the first time we met him, and he got a, a, he got a, a dose of his own medicine. He got a nice slice of humble pie in the most brutal way possible. Because not only did Mihawk cut him down to size, mm -hmm. but he like he belittled him during their fight too. I was gonna say I think it's a mix of arrogance and urgency to where it's part of the single minus of. He has no choice. Like he, he, he's arrogant because he has to believe it. Otherwise, he can't cope with where he's sitting, yeah, where he is in the world. And it's also Queen is not there to put him in check, right? Like she was, because he Zoro grew emotionally because of her. She kind of ch checked his arrogance, right? And the fact that he even just outright says to Nami that she was his only friend, yeah. that really shows that he hasn't had that kind of support system since then. Yeah, and that's why. That, that that's why that classic, the iconic Zoro, I will never lose again mm -hmm. until I beat him. Oh, that was which McKenyu, mm -hmm. good job because he did it in a way that I didn't expect. A lot of other actors would would go very tearfully, but he chose to hold that pain in. So it's almost like he's shaking, right? But and even with anger because he doesn't want to show weakness as more weakness than he already showed in his mind, right? But even then, I would say that's still like more emotion than we've gotten from Zoro. Oh, absolutely. Whole. And I think that was a good choice. I think this was by far McKenyu's best episode as for, as, for, as well, Zoro. Yeah, he got he got a lot to do this episode. Yes, as Zoro, which I think he what he didn't have to do in the other episodes. He was just the silent. Badass, the stoic, silent badass. Who wants to drink all the time. Who wants to drink <laughs> all the time. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. If you want to check out our other One Piece reactions, click the link on the page. And until next time, guys, stay versed.